Right, tip prop. Go check him, go. Hotel. Hotel. Hotel holiday. California. Isn't that wonderful with these aeroplanes? Yeah, we can taxi. Excellent. Sometimes people land in taxiways. Especially in John Wayne. <laughs> hey guys, it's Wayne from Sling Pilot Academy. This week, one of our best instructors, Christian and John, are going to take you through our startup and pre taxi checklist in the Sling Next Generation Trainer, the Sling NGT. Enjoy the video. So, hi guys, we're going to do a checklist like we did with the last video, but this time it's going to be in the NGT and we're going to put the headsets on just for better, better sound and better stuff. Better clarity and all yep. that. Good. So, headsets are on. Right. So, I got the digital checklist here. So, keys. Key is key in the ignition. Master is on. Lane A is on. Lane B is on. Main Thank fuel you. pump, on. If it's backup, on. If it's one. If it's one, that position. One. Strobe, on. Verified good. Fuel snack on the low tank. We're waiting for that to boot up. Okay, so while we're waiting, we can do brake set and hold. Brake set and hold. Brake set and hold. Throttle lever cracked slightly. Trim neutral. Okay, now ECU back up on and watch for the fuel pressure rise. ECU back up on and I like to keep my finger on that so that I remember to switch it off. Lights are checking. Fuel pressure in the green range. Pretty good. ECU back up, that's good. ECU back up off and clear prop. Prop clear. Clear right. Right, clear prop. And there we go, fancy that. So we've done the engine start, so now we can go to the next one, which is before taxi. Right. So before taxi, we can go over here and uh, just get out of the uh, the road here from any other traffic that might be behind it. Wow, look at that thing climb. Look at that thing go. Go take them go. Here we go, we're good. Beautiful. Go get a bit of sky. Okay, Adis, boom. Aren't you the first time you should be doing all this stuff? Be reading my news. <laughs> <laughs> All our car feedback holds short instructions on the assignment we'll call sign. Advise us contact if information hotel. 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 Hotel holiday. Boom. And, and now we've done that. The first item is done now, so ADIS is done. Altimeter, we said that. 2979. Transponder is set to 1200. 1200. Uh, taxi light on, please. Bingo. Thanks, lights on. Seatbelts, I got mine, you got yours? Yep. And firm and set. Uh, brake set and hold. And then I usually tell the students to take that big knob, spin all the way to the map page, and then give yourself oh. a little orientation here. Isn't that wonderful and with these aeroplanes? I oh, know, it's like you're in an A350. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Minus and the people. <laughs> and Torrance Ground, good evening. 864 Sierra Lima at Sling. We'd like to take your runway 29 right, we have hotel. Taxi Echo Alpha Juliet. Taxi Echo Alpha Juliet. And hold for 299 for Sierra Lima. So that's it. That's it, we're good to go. I made taxi. So we've done all the before taxi, now we can taxi. Excellent. Should we talk about the taxi as well? Like how to taxi well, do all that check. stuff? Yeah, talk away. So we got the clearance. It was Echo Alpha Juliet for 29 right. Now that we're moving and we have the map moving in our position, we can verify that we're on Alpha. So the cool thing about having this is you can see on the map where you are. You can look outside and you can see the, the taxiway there, Alpha, as well. So you know where you are. If you get lost, you can look at the map. And if you need clarification, you can also ask them. Yeah, and I think that's important. A lot of people are scared to do that. I mean, we know this airport well, but you, to, you go to John Wayne or something, and they, they're not sure what to do, and they're scared to ask. Rather, slow down and actually ask. Say yeah. you're not familiar, and then they'll help you, rather than taxi onto active runway. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to be careful because sometimes people land in taxiways. Especially <laughs> <laughs> John Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> what speed do you teach your students to taxi at? So the best speed I've found so far is 12 knots on the straight parts. And as you take a corner, go 8 knots. 
the best way to find that is that little purple magenta number Drone there. Speed, yeah. yeah, it feels good. Yeah, there's 12 right there. And then and off the brake. There's eight knots right eight there. Eight knots is, feels perfect. Yeah, I mean, that feels real good. Those are good speeds. Uh, so don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. It really helps us with our channel. We really appreciate it.